hydroponics is just a technique it is not a magic when you decide the system that is when you're going to decide the budget right it grows beautifully in hydroponics you know that's why you see everybody's doing that right namaskara this is guru and uh, welcome to belisiri uh, is hydroponics uh, really profitable uh, if you do hydroponics does that really give you lots of money <laughs> that is a, one of the questions uh, recently asked uh, in one of the posts and i wanted to cover about it hope this information will be helpful please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive such information and most frequently asked question uh, in many of my workshops and even the inquiries uh, we get to where people want to learn hydroponics um, and they want to really do something and uh, earn some money out of it right it's very common you know when i started my journey i never thought about profitability you know i learned it as a method you know i learned it as a, a way to grow plants okay um first let me tell you one thing hydroponics is just a technique it is not a magic right so even if there is a magician who wants to do some magic he will have to practice something out of it right so just like that even hydroponics also is one technique wherein you have to learn how to produce something and more than that you should learn how to sell something the one answer that i would like to give uh, like is hydroponics profitable is it depends it depends on many factors and uh, it depends on you okay how you present it how you sell it how you find the market so i will give you certain case studies and whatever i'm talking is based on my experience as on this date okay last 5 years uh, i have been working on this field and i have been trying to grow different things and i'm 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 planning to do different things in different uh, ways okay so every time i this is the question i get to myself no is it really profitable so is it really viable can i sell this in long run or should it be done in short short run so all those questions even come to my mind but i will i'm going to summarize what i have experienced so far and first thing we have to concentrate when we start hydroponics uh, or any farming right but today since this this focus discussion is on hydroponics i will take hydroponics as example so whenever you start hydroponics or soilless farming what you have to first think is which crop you are going to grow okay that's one of the things i keep telling every time that don't focus on the system or don't focus up on the method that you want to grow so let's assume that you have you have already decided how to grow right uh, you want to grow soilless because you have lots of advantages of soilless farming or you can refer to my other videos uh, but uh, our main focus discussion is how to make profit out of hydroponics or can we make profit out of hydroponics okay so when you decide to do or grow something with hydroponics and then you decide which method to do you know whether it's nft system or grow back system or whatever system but that is a very important decision that you have to make because when you decide the system that is when you're going to decide the budget right if you want to do nfts it has a different set of uh, investment a different um, amount of money you have to put if it's a grow bag it's literally the budget is very less you know initial investment is very less so first you decide that and start production right and please remember one point that is you have to grow what customer want not what you want right i will tell you one example when we started you know just like when we started a commercial outlet what we thought was you know let's grow something that sells for higher price okay we decided to grow lettuce that use right it grows beautifully in hydroponics you know that's why you see everybody is doing that right even pest attack is very less in uh, uh, when you grow lettuce right different varieties of lettuce are there so when we started doing that and when we had something to harvest we realized in the area we live in bangalore 
and in our surrounding area nobody really wanted to eat lettuce right so that's when we we wasted lots of lettuce because uh, we did not know what to do with it right when we did not know what to do with it how can you expect someone a customer who doesn't know about it and you're trying to sell him something right so please ensure that you grow whatever customer wants then we changed and we analyzed what people started asking was for spinach and amaranthus coriander such local things right so such local leaf vegetables we started growing that's when we got more and more demand and we started growing that so that's that's the first tip that i want to give it to you so once you once you start growing and once you know the cycles and you you are very confident that every every week i'm getting this much of produce then you have to think about how to sell it so that is where most of the people fail because there are two ways you can you can sell it right so one way is you just sell it to a aggregator or a or a person who will take care of sales and marketing or you sell it yourself right when you sell it to a mediator okay the middleman what he will do is they will have their own company and uh, advertising or whatever channels and they have their own customer base and they will be having their own expenditures so they will sell it in their own ways so don't expect huge margin um, for your produce right they may give you let's say maybe one tenth of what uh, you are expecting right or i'm just giving example here so if you do it yourself if you sell it yourself what we do is we sell it to the apartments so apartments we have premium customers who care for clean food you know we are growing it without any pesticides and we're growing it with a clean water and uh, people know the value of it and they will give you whatever price you ask for right i'm not saying everybody will buy for your price but for example i'll tell you for 174 rupees kg we sell spinach which you cannot sell to a middleman right that's how you can make profit than uh, selling it to a middleman right so i'm not saying selling to a middleman is a bad option right um, uh, don't take me wrong uh, it is needed because if you don't know how to do that or if you don't have time to do all that selling you can definitely give it to a middleman but your your scale should be very big let's say i'm doing in thousand square feet area if i give it a middleman it will be like nothing so i don't get even break even i don't reach a break even very soon right so if you are doing it in a little bigger area let's say one acre you know some of my students do that and they sell it for a very low price that is 70 rupees per kg or 80 rupees per kg but it works out for them because it's a volume game so again coming back to a question is it profitable it depends so if you want to sell it at a very low price you do it on a big scale so my sincere request is you have to start small and do bigger scale on a later stages you now first you have to gain some experience before going big scale okay meanwhile you can do some marketing research so that you can understand what exactly the customer looking for okay in your local area as a first step another very important thing that i want to tell is to make profit uh, in hydroponics or any farming technique is to make some value addition you know that's that's very important uh, instead of just selling a lettuce you have to sell a salad right uh, which is a mix of some other things like maybe cherry tomato and something else even we, we made a, a salad out of radish you know that's that was so tasty right and uh, you can sell it for a higher price so that is how you can make profit uh, recently I had been to one uh, um, uh, one conference where we had uh, uh, buyers and sellers of dragon fruits and there were so many producers there you know who were struggling to sell their produce right the dragon fruit and uh, there was one person uh, who has made it as a, uh, a product out of uh, dragon fruit he has made it very eco-friendly and he's, he's selling concept right and uh, 
he's making more profit than the producers so that's because he's a good marketer you know he's not doing something wrong right he's he's doing something great he's actually uh, giving awareness of that product awareness of that fruit and then he's he's delivering it with a very eco friendly methods and that's how you have to uh, become a smart farmer smart farmer then only you can make profit out of any produce that you can sell so again uh, sticking to my answer it depends on you it depends on how you do it how i do it how we do it right i hope it it has given you some information some enlightenment let me know in comments so to summarize so please grow what customer wants don't focus on the systems focus on the produce that you're going to do because that's what customer is looking for and do a valuation and sell directly to the customer so those are the points those are the takeaways that i can say of this video and uh, let me know if you want to know more anything else let me know and uh, let's get back to our weekly updates on our garden what uh, i'm going to give a small update as usual every week so uh, bye for now and see you next week bye bye namaskara